Crazy Humanoid Character Animation is taking a new phase for game developers, especially for those working with Unity. As with the brand new release of Unity 6, all you need to do to start creating character animation is enter a prompt and this will generate character animations for you. And this character animation can be applied to models and you can simply use these in your games. And today we're going to talk about all of the necessary things you need to know and how you can get started working with this. So if you simply use the link in the description, it's going to bring you right here where you can start exploring Unity Muse. Unity Muse is Unity's AI companion package that offers chat to help you solve problems inside of Unity, texture for generating PBR enabled materials, sprite for generating 2D assets inside of Unity, behavior to describe and create behavioral trees for assets inside of Unity, animate which we're going to focus on today, and also 2D enhancers that simply allows you enhance your sprite with AI powered upscale, recolor, and pixelate tools. And for those who like to try it, this currently offers a trial version that you can use and this runs for 30 days. And to get started, you need to make sure you've got Unity installed, preferably Unity Six. And then you can simply go over to the pre-release section where you've got the animate, click on get started and that will prompt you to install the animate package. Once you click on that, it will ask if you want to fire up Unity, we're simply going to accept that and this will fire up Unity and present us with a package manager. Now within the package manager, this is where the installation actually happens. Now in several cases, if this installation doesn't happen, you need to make sure that you've got Unity open and then go back to the package manager. You can simply search for the Muse or you can simply install the package by entering com.unity.muse.animate and that will install it. And once you've got that installed, this also installs Sentis and also the Muse menu. And with this installed, we can simply go over to Muse and explore Muse. So once we click on explore Muse, you would notice that we've got lots of things that we can also install. So probably you want to install the chat and what chat actually helps you do is to help you navigate across Unity just in case there's any issues you're having. There's actually a Blender add-on that does that as well. I'm going to link it in the description for those who want to see that. And they've got other ones like the sprite, texture, animate and also 2D. So you can come through, install all of these and get started with them. But what we're mostly focused on today is working with the animate generator. So to do that, all you need to do is click on that button and it's gonna tell you the basic of several things that you can do. We can click on got it and from here we can start prompting. And in this case, we can start off by saying, you know, the basic stuff, running maybe something like that and press the enter button and this will proceed to take a look at the prompt and generate a character running. It is pretty interesting how this works. So at this point, this is what we have. We have a character running and we can choose how much of this generation we want. We can double click on this and this is going to open up in a bigger window where we can actually preview how the running is going. So we can do that. We can press the pause button. We can investigate this, you know, inspect it properly, see what and what is going on and you know, do all of that stuff. However, if you'd like to get multiple variations of the same thing, we can come in and say, we would like to generate about three, four, you know, depending on the number of running animations that we want. Furthermore, we can also increase the duration. So we can say maybe we'd like the duration to be about five, six, something like that. Press the enter button, and then we can simply hit the generate button one more time. And this is going to generate even more. So you do have this thing where you can now generate variations of one particular action and get on with it. So like we saw with the initial example that simply says walking zombies. So we can do the same thing, walking zombie. Okay, so we can do that. And once we press the enter button as well, we can now have three variations of a five seconds walking zombie animation. So we can see the first one. We can proceed to see the second one. And we can also have ourselves the third one. So you do have all these three variations that you can work with. We also went ahead to prompt something that simply looks more like, you know, slashing with a sword. And that also looked super cool. Like the fact that these can generate character animations pretty easy reminds me a lot about this beautiful tool that we've covered on the channel before from the folks at Motorica. And that was super impressive. You dial a couple of buttons, type in a prompt or something like that. And these generates motions. And exactly those type of features are now here. The only difference here is you do not have control of body size and also, you know, some kind of speed and some other stuff. But be that as it may, you do have things like this that you can use. And the cool thing is to any of these models, you can definitely go in, double click, preview them, inspect them. You can also go ahead and check out their sensitivity 
which deals with the number of keyframes to actually give you a more refined looking animation. And once you're ready with any of this, you can simply go through, hit the sample button, and this will start baking every of those things into your timeline. And this is really cool because once you get those baked out, you can now see individual frames for what they are. And then you can proceed to convert those frames to individual frames that you can now literally go in and start manipulating. And that is really, really cool because at this point you can go from one frame to another, make some adjustment with any of these tools that exist there. There's the drag tool, the move tool, the rotate tool. You can position the character wherever, however you want. It is more like you've got a template of an animation and now you can add direct that animation how you want. And the twin transitioning is super cool. Like if you make an adjustment to the first frame, make an adjustment to the second frame, maybe the third frame or whatever frame. Once you press the playback button, you notice that the twinning between frames are super clean and uh, pretty neat. Of course, this does have a few jaggedy edges here and there, but as a tool that is currently in pre-release, it looks pretty nice could work for lots of NPC characters. And I believe if you're into stuff like this, you would love it. Something else that is also super impressive is you can choose to export these as anim files and bring them into other packages later. And for sure, if you like to make more extended keyframes, you can use the plus button to add extended frames and proceed with them. Now, once you're done, you can simply go back to the library or you can close the Muse Animate Generator window. And you'd notice that within the assets section of our project, we do have all of the stuff that we've generated. You would also notice that we have the ones that we've edited right there. Now to actually start doing retargeting is literally this simple as we need to go over to Mixamo, find the character that we want. So there's a ton of characters in Mixamo, so you can simply knock yourself out, find something that simply works for you. And you might need to download these things as not ordinary FBX, but download them as Unity FBX. Of course, if you choose to download the normal FBX, it works. Download FBX for Unity. Keep this at T-Pose and hit the download button. And once that is downloaded, you need to drag that character right inside of Unity. And so for these, we're just simply going to do a few housekeeping, put a plane right there. And then we would now need to create an animator controller. Now, what this animator controller will do for us is it's going to tell our character what animation we want it to drive it. However, before we start telling our character what animation we would like to drive it, we need to actually specify that our character is a humanoid character. And to do that, we need to select the character from the asset, go over to the inspector, go over to the rig section and change the animation type to humanoid. And once we do that, we will also need to click on configure just to make sure that everything are mapped properly. Now, if they are not mapped properly, you can go over to the hierarchy section and confirm what is being mapped to what. Once you notice that all of your stuff are green for both body, head, left and right hand, then you're good to go. So once we have this done, the next thing we need to do is to click, drag our character and place it within the viewport or within the hierarchy. And either ways, this appears within the viewport. So once we have this within the viewport, it is now super easy to start doing some stuff. This now opens up a new menu, which has to do with the animator menu that you can now find within the inspector. So have your character selected, click and drag the animation controller that we made earlier and place it right where you find controller within your animator. Next thing, we need to double click and open up the animation controller, find any of the animations that we've just generated, click on the tiny arrow that exposes the animation, and then you can drag and drop that within the entry. And this is how we tell Unity that this is the animation clip we want to drive our character. And once we do that, we can click on the preview button and preview our animation. And that is literally how easy it is. So you can choose to do this for as many of these clips as you want. And of course, to any clip that you like to have looped, you can always turn that on, loop it as many times as possible as well. And this is basically how you start generating humanoid animation clips that you can start using in Unity. There are several use cases for this, and this includes things like crowds, NPCs, and so on. This does not replace the traditional full character animation set of tools that allows you to make very custom animations. This is really cool for making quick and easy animations, especially once you like to link with several animations to create things like crowds or possibly create NPC movements. 
This is definitely going to be super useful for that. However, not every animation prompt generates something that you might probably want to work with. And more specifically, anything that has to do with jumping doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really catch up that much. So if you try to generate something that has to do with the character jumping or falling off, this does stutter a bit in terms of getting the performance right. And this kind of informs us that maybe the algorithm or data they were used to train these were from inertia motion capture tools. However, this looks pretty cool, especially when you're trying to sort of make some things like skipping. That definitely works. A little bit of the ground works. Maximum of the ground doesn't really work that much. But for what it is, this is a welcome improvement and it looks really cool. And of course, if you'd like to try this out, then you can go over to the link in the description and check it. More so, Unity users can actually start making textures right inside of Unity by simply using Unity Muse for texturing. So this texture generator simply involves you putting in a prompt, a negative prompt, and of course, if you would like to bring in an image that you would want to sample from, say maybe the color or the shape, you can also go ahead and do all of that. This is a very comprehensive texture generator, and I do appreciate the fact that it also comes with lots of generation options so you can generate up to 10 images at a time if you want to bring things like bricks maybe you just want to generate bricks you can simply do that and hit the generate button and automatically this is going to generate 10 variations of bricks and the cool thing with this thing is you can select any of them so at this point we did say we just want to make that if you want seamless stuff you can so you can just simply type in the word seamless type in whatever you want and it's going to start generating seamless textures in that regard and you can also do some interesting things like in painting and using these to drive materials inside of unity now this doesn't end there you can actually create your pbr materials with this and this is also pretty interesting because all you have to do is just generate a bunch of textures and you can also do the whole in painting thing like we said in case you're trying to make something that is very seamless and from there you can go over to any of the specific ones Click on the tiny menu, view as PBR material if you want, export this if you want, or even set this as a thumbnail. And once you choose any of these, the action starts performing. If you're trying to preview this as a material, of course you can. You can preview it, you can change the lighting however you want, play with all of the parameters that comes with individual maps that this is definitely creating for you. And with all of this, you can preview these maps independently. And once you're ready, you can choose to export this and this automatically now saves in your asset. And so from your asset, you can apply this onto any model piece of choice, play with the parameters and get going with it. And this is beautiful. So for those who would like us to talk about more stuff that Muse currently offers, like the chat or possibly the sprite, or if you'd like to get a more in-depth detailed video about the texture, please put that in the comment section and we will do our best to do that video for you guys. So this is it. For those who are thinking about making animations right now inside of Unity, you can now make your NPC animations pretty quick and easy and get going with it. Tons of things are currently available and for those that are looking for assets, props or resources that they can start off with, possibly you're working with Unity or maybe Unreal Engine, Blender and so on, links to the humble bundles and also a ton of other stuff is going to be in the description so do well to check them out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one peace